August of 2012, Walmart stores in the USA started getting these Tonka vehicles. On the back, you can see they're from Hasbro, or rather their Funrise division. I found 12 models in the first batch. They were $4 each. They also had these two packs. The two packs were about $6 each. I will, I'm going to show these in a different video. I picked up one of each of the castings to give you an idea. Again, those were $6 each. These are $4 each. That's 2012. 2013 comes around. Strike Force shows up in uh, more stores than just Walmart. I did a review. I showed all these. That's in a separate video. You can see that in a link in the description or at the end of the video. That's the Strike Force, new in 2013. That'd be last year because I'm filming this in 2014. Also, Copter Force. I haven't picked up too many of them. There are eight different models. This video is going to be for the metal diecast bodies, the Tonka Metal Line. After I open up and take a look at the details of these 12 models, I have a downhill track because I want to see how well they roll. See, some people like to play and roll them around, so we're going to check them out. I didn't get a chance to do that with the Strike Force models, so I have these three here. They're going to get some track time to see how well they roll on that downhill track as well. The track we're going to use to test how well they roll is the Disney Pixar Cars Micro Drifters Design and Drift Speedway track set for these little micro drifters. They have the little bobbing. You can see how uh, slow they roll down the track to give you an idea. They just kind of roll down. Maybe you have Hot Wheels. Like uh, Redbird, watch how fast he's going to roll. That gives you an idea how fast the track is for each car. I told you we were going to go ahead and show how these rolled. Hey, Strike Force, they roll pretty good. We're going to open up the Tonka Metal and see if they roll this well. It would be nice. Here we have the Vintage Fire Pumper. Now, on the back of the package, it shows all 12 of the models. You can see the Vintage Fire Pumper in red, and you've seen it was red on the front. Well, not all the models in the first batch actually showed up in the colors on the package. So, next we have the uh, Fire Pumper in red. Yeah, he was in red. Ambulance. Yep, red. Next, police cruiser. Look at the police cruiser. He has a white door, but when it was released, it doesn't have a white door. The white door version actually didn't show up until 2013 when it uh, showed up in all the other stores as well. Not only that, look how it says first responders. That's because what they did is they turned around and they, they made them into like uh, different groups or teams. So on this one, it says police cruisers, and then it still says, then it says police squad first responders. So if you have a package difference, that's why it's a, a later release because of them being put into different groups. That's the police cruiser. Up next, vintage dump truck. See, it's red with the blue bed. Came out in yellow in the first release. Next, we have a tow truck. Shows green with a yellow hook in the back. Actually, we showed up with orange with a gray hook. Now, the green with the gray hook, it did get released in uh, 2013. And let's see, what else did I show? The dumper. The dumper wound up being released. Mm, sorry, I don't have that one handy. Let's keep moving. Heavy. Nope. Cement mixer. Just like on the package orange with a green cab then we have the heavy front end loader just like on the package sanitation truck right here it's in yellow actually was released in like a uh, orange i'm sorry that is orange it was a little hard to tell i had to get close that is orange next cherry picker in white it did show up in white in 2013. It got a different color. 
and that color was yellow. Tanker truck in blue. First release actually turned out to be red. 2013, you did get the blue version. And last but not least, we have the heavy dump truck in yellow. Yellow was the first release. And then 2013 came out in red. In case I missed showing, I think I forgot to show you one of the colors for the ambulance. This one was the reissue. That was the first one. But with the ambulances and with the cars, if there was two colors, we're only going to open up and test one. And, of course, I should have showed you both colors of the fire pumper. I'm going to set this one aside. And this is the one we'll be opening up. I'm going to open four at a time. We'll take a look at four, and then we'll uh, roll them down the track to see how well they do. Up first, vintage fire pumper pretty nice details got a ladder on the side it's stuck it doesn't move nothing uh, i don't see any moving parts but it's pretty nice you got a little uh, red emergency siren on top over here actually that's just a flashing light this might be the siren right here you emergency vehicle specialist you probably you guys probably know if that's the uh, siren let's get a closer look you see that part right there? That's probably that's probably a siren on top of the hood. And then on top you got the red plastic for the emergency. That's pretty cool. Another emergency responder, fire pumper in red. Take a look at all the sides. Got tampos on the side. It says TKFD, Tonka Fire Department, <laughs> I guess. 911 how may I help you nice very very nice ambulance I'm gonna open up the white one since I had two red ones I want to mix up the colors and look this one's got a little uh, poster underneath the other ones I don't know if the other ones have them or not have one or not let's take a look hey there's the uh, two packs I told you about got a Facebook page and there's the vehicles Ambulance is kind of bulky compared to the ambulances we have here in Los Angeles. But you, you definitely recognize that it's an ambulance vehicle because of that design right there. And last but not least, I'm going to open up the, the white police car. The one that looks like on a package. The white one has nice shiny chrome wheels. The white door version has nice shiny chrome wheels. Uh, rims, I should say. Has a light bar. Police tempo. It's got push bar, a little push uh, in the front. It's hard to see, but it does have a part to push other vehicles if they need to be pushed out of the roadway. Let's see how they roll on the carpet. Yep, they roll. They roll fine on their own. Yep, pretty good. Free willing. All right, let's test them on the track now. Hey, Mr. Police, can you uh, use those push bars to get Redbird off the track, please? Thank you. Hey, nice. Sometimes you buy toys and they don't roll very good. These things roll real well. Vintage dump truck. I wonder how, I wonder if this actually dumps. It looks like it has a hinge right there for the for the loader or the dump bed to dump out whatever it's hauling nice yellow color metal metal parts i forgot to check which parts were metal they're mostly metal uh like the ladders and stuff hey there you go very nice maybe maybe we can give uh maybe we can come pick up a uh, shiny mcqueen hey look it's perfect Perfect size for a uh, McQueen Micro Drifter. Let's see if it'll fit too. Oh, it doesn't quite. It's just, McQueen's just a little too wide. But if we want, it will fit too. Hey, pretty nice. I guess that's going to be the people who, they're going to get a ride down the track. Let's see how well it rolls on the carpet. Not too shabby. Let's take a look. Hey, look, dualies. 
That's awesome. It's got dualies. It's actually one wheel made to look like two. But hey, look, dualies. You don't see that very often. Any of the others have dualies? Let's see. Oh, I missed it. Dualies. Plastic base, metal body, plastic ladder. Let's see. Dualies on the ambulance. Wow, that's a nice little bonus. How's that for added realism? Dualies. Police. Duh. No, you don't put dualies on a police vehicle. So he got to get some track time. Up next, tow truck. We're right here, right? Here's your tow truck. Now the actual towing thing, look, it actually moves. I wonder, I don't know if you could really get a vehicle up on there. No. You have to find the right kind of vehicle to actually hook onto that. Once again, has a clear plastic for the light bar emergency vehicle. Dooley's, yes. Cement mixer. Now, cement mixer, that means this part should spin, right? Because this is how they keep the cement uh, wet. Yep. This is how they keep the cement from hardening up. And then they keep spinning it around like that. But in the back, it normally would come out in a little chute. There's no chute. But this part's, this part's nice and big. Some of the smaller Hot Wheel size toys, they're real small. And this part doesn't even move. So it's nice to spend a couple dollars more. Get a nice vehicle that has moving parts. Hey, dually doolies. It's got a six-wheeler. Triple axle. Dually doolies. And last but not least... Heavy front end loader. So I can see a hinge. You can see a hinge right here. I see a hinge right there. So we might have this part move and this part move. Let's see. Yep. That moves. This should come up. Hey, nice. Look at that. Maybe he can give somebody a ride. Hello? Nope, too heavy. There you go. Hello, can I help you? Can I have a tow truck, please? Sure, why not? And last, oh, that was four, right? One, yep, that's the last one. So now we're gonna test the rollability on the carpet. Oh, you know what? He has these things right here. He has these uh, spikes. Sometimes the spikes get stuck on the carpet. I'm sure it's not gonna hurt, but for free rolling, it, it's gonna get hung up on the carpet. Got a little squeak, you hear it? It's got a mouse running in the engine, a little hamster. Cement truck. Tow truck. And vintage, I think I did them already. Okay, now for the big track. Danger, danger, dragon on the track. This one here, six wheeler. Sometimes things with the triple axles, they, they're not as fast or they don't roll well at all. Let's see how he does. Hey, he did just fine. He pushed uh, Rodzilla right under the trash. Another tow truck. Not another one. That's the first one. Dump truck's going to have two passengers. Very nice. Last group of four, sanitation truck. Take a look at the back. This is where you would remove the trash. Nothing moves. This moves. I mean nothing back here because, you know, this is where they dump out the trash after they fill it up. Has this nice little lifter. It would have been neat if they had a little uh, dumpster bin to pick up. But still, moving parts, nice to have on a, on a small die cast field. When you spend $4, see, this is the kind of features that you can get when you spend a little bit more money on your vehicles. Well, except for Lightning McQueen. You spend more for those. And they don't have any uh, moving vehicles, but you know what I mean. Cherry picker. Check it out. Look. This is where you would have a little man in here. 
And like if you got to go work up on the power lines, you lift this up. And you, this is the bucket. The man would stand in here. And then you would lift this up. Hey, it's off the... Hey, it's too big. Look how tall that is. All the way off the camera. Hello? There you are. Look at the bucket. Pretty nice. Nice articulation. I would go nice... I would go easy on it. It does have metal uh, rivets for it to spin on. But I would still be careful to not break it. Nice features. Once again, nice clear emergency lights. Plastic bumper. Uh, all the windows are tinted. That's probably because they don't have interiors. But still, nice big, nice big piece of die cast for your hands for the young ones to enjoy. Dooleys on the dump truck. I mean the trash truck. Dooleys on the cherry picker. Let's see the tanker truck. Hey, tanker truck might have dually dooleys in the back. Ready? Yep. Look, dualies, dualies. Cool. Very nice. No moving parts. I don't see. Any. Got the dual smokestacks right here, so so you can have more power to the engine. Yep. Very nice. Last but not least, we have the heavy dump truck. Now this is a Tonka truck. Any of you people from my generation, you know what I'm talking about. Tonka metal. Let's see. Hey, metal. 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 Very nice. Let's check the dump bed. Yep. Excellent. And really nice. They have the metal bar that these put, that these rotate on. So this way it'll last. Doesn't pop off when you lose the thing. Look, Tonka. You got Tonka right on the side. Excellent. He's definitely going to get a few riders. Did you get it right yet? No. Once again, two of them. Let's see how they roll just on the carpet or the rug. Yep. Oh, this one's this one. This one a little sticky. Not too bad. Yeah, freewheeling. Hey, cherry picker in the sanitation truck. They want to have a race. Hey, wait a second. I think that's cheating. <laughs> Got stuck. Sit. Go. Hey, my dump truck. There he goes. Time for the tanker truck. Let's see if it could sneak by on the side. Uh, nope. Wrong side, Bubba. And last but not least, let's bring out the Tonka heavy dump truck. He's got a couple passengers. <laughs> they flew out. The Tonka metal line from Hasbro. What do I think? I think they're pretty good money for the value. Four dollars. Nice uh, hard rubber tires. A lot of them had dualies, even dually dualies. Have fun, man. Enjoy your toys. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.